Hi, this is Mike Benton for HTC bringing you G1 101, an introduction to using the G1. One of the great features of the G1 is the capacitive touchscreen. On top of that, there's also a trackball and a full QWERTY keyboard hidden under the screen. First, let's go over removing the battery and SIM card. Simply slide open the screen and press on the battery release latch until the back cover comes off. Be careful not to scratch the 3.2 megapixel camera lens. You can remove the battery now and then the SIM card by pressing here and sliding the SIM card towards the battery compartment. It's helpful to have an extra battery for those long flights when you want to watch a movie or two. Once you've replaced the SIM card and battery, briefly hold on the red end key to power the phone back on. The G1 is capable of handling micro SDHC cards up to the currently available 16 gigabytes. To replace your current card, slide open the keyboard and using your fingernail, pull on the storage card cover until you see the storage card. Then using a pen or paper clip, carefully press on the storage card to pop it out. These are really small so be careful not to lose them. Take your new storage card, slide it back in, and using the pen or paper clip, carefully press on the storage card until it pops back in place. Put the cover back into place and you're ready to go. The G1 will automatically recognize the new storage card. The G1's hardware buttons have multiple functions. Pressing and holding on the green send key will activate the voice dialer. You can press the back key to exit this. Pressing and holding on the home key will bring up a list of recently used applications. You can select them by touching the screen or using the trackball. You can also exit this menu by pressing the back key. Pressing and holding on the red end key will bring up a short settings menu where you can switch the phone to silent or to power it off. The G1 has a customizable desktop. To customize it, just press and hold on a blank area and a menu will pop up. To change your wallpaper, select Wallpaper and then Wallpaper Gallery. You can select from many of the included wallpapers or from photos of your own. You can also add extra widgets like a search field, picture frame, or clock. You can also add handy shortcuts like folders, bookmarks, a contact, Gmail label, or your favorite playlist. When you get a chance, go to the Android Marketplace and install AnyCut. It enables you to do so much more with shortcuts on your desktop. You can also add shortcuts to your favorite applications to the desktop of the G1. This is useful for those apps that you like to use all the time. Additionally, you can also put a folder on the desktop or several folders and group like items in those folders to make it easier for you to find what you, you're looking for. You can also rename your folders. Just open up a folder, tap on the title bar, and you'll be able to change it to whatever you want. Additionally, if you want to throw something away, just tap and hold on it and drag it to the trash icon. The G1 comes with a powerful browser that can have up to eight windows open at once. You can view the desktop version of your favorite sites or use the preloaded bookmarks to view optimized versions of other popular sites. Google Maps has a My Location feature that finds where you are using the G1's GPS. To enable this, go to your desktop, press the menu button, select settings, then select security and location. Make sure that the box for enable GPS satellites is checked. It might take a few minutes to find your location if you are indoors. To see your location, open Google Maps, press the menu button, and then on my location. You can use Google Maps for directions, searching nearby businesses, or even to see live traffic for most major cities. Of the many modes, there's maps, satellite, traffic, or street view. If you've never been to New York, you might be able to take a little virtual trip through Central Park. After selecting street view, the streets on the map view will change to blue. Click one of those and then an available street view will show up. Then just as if you're standing in the middle of the street, you can look around or up and down. Enjoy your trip! That's all for now, so be sure to stay tuned to our channel for more tips, tricks, and valuable reviews.